to keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. So how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're back in Bolivia, in the wildlands, trying to fight some enemies from the Santa Blanca cartel over at this base just here just down to my left there is four locations inside of the base that we need to take there it's a crate of mortar shells and obviously they're going to be using them against the rebels and myself unless we destroy them so there is a very heavy enemy presence inside of this base here so we're going to fly over there from we are here so we're not too far up it's just over these mountains uh, we're going to get in this pickup and drive over there take them out we're going to try and do it stealth because there is going to be so many people there but we'll have to take it from here so let me just set myself a marker so I know where we're going We've located the stocks of ammo and there we go being used for training in just over one and a half kilometers away so I'm going to quickly travel over there and I'll catch up with you guys in a second okay so we're roughly about 700 meters out just before we get there, I do want to say thanks for all the support recently, guys. We have just hit 500 subscribers, which is greatly appreciated. I am going to try and start working on making more videos a lot more frequently. It's just I'm working five, six days out of the week. And it's, uh, it's hard to make multiple videos a week when you work that much. But I'm going to try and, do it as, try and do my best as possible. So I hope you understand and appreciate the videos when I do put them out. But with all that being said, we're going to take these guys out over here. The drone is up. And then make our way down the hill. They got an air and uh, try and take out this base. So there's just one guy here. He's not going to be a threat at all. Single shot to the head. Sorted. Frag out. Use my frag grenades on this. That's a SAM turret. They stop you from... Uh, you know they lock onto you and try to kill you when you're flying over in choppers and stuff so we get rid of that for future times when we're trying to fly over so as you can see here is the base we're gonna get down a little bit closer we are a few hundred meters away but we're gonna scope out as many people as possible I'm gonna estimate there's roughly about 15 to 20 of the cartel members over here so it's gonna be quite a tough fight let me get down to this next set of rocks and then I'll put my drone up and start scouting the area right here we go let me chuck my drone up with a mini gun, right by the container. okay there's one in there, I don't know how my drone spotted that but it's not a bad thing Got another tank there's on. one there's gonna be snipers over in them towers, that's, that's a fact Got a third target. There we go, now we're spotting them up. That makes five. I got a target carrying submachine guns. So that's roughly five so far, maybe a couple yeah, more. Spotted one with submachine guns. Got a tango. Okay, there is a lot of them over here. Ten targets so far. Hmm. There's another. Wow, there's a lot. Okay, that's got to be roughly about 15 now. That's 15. There we go, 15 now. Right, the battery on my drone is about to die, so we're going to just undeploy that. And we're going to try and there we go, there's a sniper, so that's 16 that's an enemy inside of there push around here to there, this mission could take quite a while but it's going to be fun, we're going to try and do it all without getting detected I can't guarantee anything so there's Ah, he's going to be inside of this crate here. Enemy marks. It's about 18 that we're on. There's 20, guys. 20 so far. There he is. And it looks like there's one more over here. 
I can't get my drone to at the moment. But I need to find out his location. There he is. Target spotted. So that is everyone marked. There is twenty one if I'm if I'm right. This guy should be okay to kill. Oh, I've been suspected. <laughs> I've been suspected already, but they're not going to find me yet. Sniper over in the distance. Do I? Do I risk it and take the shot? I think we should wait. Work our way in from heavily guarded over this area here so I might even come down here to the left and work my way in from the ground might be able to take a few people out using the sink shot if you guys haven't played this game and obviously you're watching the video to maybe decide whether you enjoy it or not then this should be a good indication as to what the game consists of it is a very very fun game when you play it with your friends online it's so much fun definitely worth getting. So we've got two guys here to my right. I should be able to take this sniper without getting recognised. Lovely. He's down. Now then. There's one there. There's the second. There's four guys around this building. If I can mark up three of them to get one, two. If I can get him locked as well. There's the third. My teammates will get into a good location to take the shot. So if I can get a good shot on this guy here through this building, all these enemies should be able to die at pretty much the same time, which is good. So my teammates are ready. He's dead. Just like that, four people down. You literally tag them, and once it once your teammates tell you that they're ready and in position, you just hold A and they'll take the shot and then you take the guy that you're focusing on. So we've taken out five at the moment, so there's roughly about fifteen or sixteen people left. We're not doing too bad. He's all the way in the distance. There's one guy up there, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna take him out now. Even though he does have a very good vantage point. If we stay nice and low, stay quiet. There shouldn't be no need to take him out until we get right next to him. Quickly tag these supplies. These barrels and the crates that you spot around the map are actually for the rebels that you're here to help out. So that gives them access to more things in the game which benefits you in the long run. Two guys right there, we need to back away from these, work our way around here to the left where it's a little bit more quiet. Try and clear the outside then get them all trapped in the middle if that makes sense. Make a dash for it over here. There we go. Nice, that guy's over there. Now that we've got all these enemy targeted as well, on the map there's no people that I can't see, which is good. So I'm not going to accidentally run into someone unless I don't see them and just run around a corner, which is unlikely to happen. So we got guy over there. This guy's on his own, so he should be able to get dealt with. There is actually people up over this hill, but they're not anything to do with this if we keep it nice and silent stop these enemies seeing us the only time that we're going to get spotted is if they see a dead body that guy up there there's two guys around the base they're going to hear they're going to hear the gunshot go off if we do take it so my next targets now are these ones that I'm looking at here, them orange circles round the outside on the other side of the uh, base. So 
so he's going to keep sneaking it's a little bit long winded but when you do play the game you understand that you can't just rush it right he's got his binoculars out hmm if I can get round there without being spotted that would be great nice and this little drone is so handy it's ridiculous there's four or oh, he's quite close but this guy I should be able to kill him um, we need these two guys over here to sort of turn away I don't know this guy's path as well I don't know if he's going to come all the way around here so I could possibly take this guy out wow I missed I've missed I'm being hunted Oh wow. Now there's a chopper, they all, they all know we're here. Um, <laughs> the alarms have been signalled, we are we're now in deep trouble. So it's all guns blazing from here on out. Which isn't a bad thing. If we can survive this though, I'll be really surprised. Right, come on. Now I need to focus. This probably is going to be a bit more fun for you guys to actually watch though instead of me doing it stealth. Because when you're playing and doing it stealth it's obviously really fun. But if you're watching it's probably not the most entertaining thing. So it's probably good that I've actually messed it up. Someone's behind me shooting me. Ah oh, it's that chopper. They are so annoying these choppers. They're so strong it's unreal. There's a heavy over there. Don't want him to get too many shots on me because they're strong. We try and repeat this corner. Done him. Mortars incoming. Take cover. Oh, horrible suppression then. Hopefully he pokes his head around one of these corners, there he is, he's dealt with, need that guy in the tower to go. That chopper's going to be a problem. I'd at least expect this gun to be able to get him through the wall. There he is, he's down. Come on, hopefully his friend peeks. them two down in the tower so the majority of people that we're going to be fighting now are on the ground nice I'll pick up some ammo call the rebels for some indirect fire call a mortar strike in this could be pretty useful for me actually Chopper's down, that's good news. My teammates put some work in there and took that out. That's lovely. So now it's literally just a few guys left on foot. They're not going to be much of an issue to deal with, which is good. <laughs> if I was to actually do this whole mission stealth without being spotted once, that would have took a hell of a long time. And like I said earlier, it's probably good actually for your guy benefit uh, that I didn't do it like that. She probably would have been, would have been like a 20-30 minute video at least. I see him down. Where's this next guy? There he is. It's through the wall. Lovely. Got enough ammo for now. We're clear. And I think that's all the targets dealt with. So. All we got to do now, pretty much, is destroy these mortar shells, these crates. I'll chuck a frag on that. Frag out. There's one. Chop, down. So now we've got to take out three more. 
we will do another little mission after this, so we'll go take out another base just to make up for the time that we lost on this one. But I don't want to keep the video going on for too long. Because I understand not a lot of people want to sit here and watch like a full 30 minute video or something. So now I'm out of grenades, we'll chuck a C4 on there. And we'll go to this last one. Another satchel of C4. And that should be everything that we need to do. Boom. Detonator out. Sorted. Mission complete. More shell crates destroyed. I do need to destroy these, really. More strike on top of that one, because I've run out of grenades in C4. That's quite a simple way of dealing with it. Uh, we can keep everything else there, like that alarm can get dealt with at another time. So we're going to take this helicopter just out here to the right, and I'll quickly find myself another base that we can go and take out, resupply on some ammo quickly. There we go. Got all my C4 and my grenades back and stuff. There's so much money being made in this drug game. They've got a large consumer base. Let's find myself another base that we can go take out. <laughs> um, we'll just fly about for a minute. I will fly to this town up here. There's got to be some sort of people over there. How far away is it? Two kilometers. That should not take long to get there. All the workers, all their families. Babies too, man. And then we should Just see some enemies on the way. The Hopefully we run into a fair sized base or a little town that's been taken over by the cartel. We can take that back and uh, get that in the hands of our, our allies, the rebels. Just over a kilometre away, not too far. There's a good looking base up on that hill to my right. I don't know what, what that is. We'll go have a little look. Doesn't seem like there's much enemy presence down here. Must just be residential. Which is a shame. That would have been nice to fight a lot of people inside of here. We'll go see what this base has to offer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. going to do. If this is a big mission and it's going to take too long then I might possibly cut this up into uh, two parts. But I'll see how fast we can get through it. We're just going to run in there, try and kill as many people as we can. Throw my drone up though just to spot some enemy targets out, which is always useful. There's a guy. Um, I know there's more about. Two guys there. There we go, there's a lot of them actually, this is going to be fun. Yeah, we'll end it after this mission for sure. We'll just go all guns blazing. No holding back. Oh, that was a machine gun, I thought that was his head. Crap. Now they definitely know we're here. Opening fire on these fuckers. This is going to be good. The lieutenant's on the run. We got a sniper. Get down. Ah, oh, the lieutenant's on the run. Damn it! I think if the lieutenant gets away, that's mission fail. Actually. What's the difference between the two? One boss is as bad as another when you trap the mile on the ground. Sniper up there. Need to do something about that car. Damn it! Please don't go down. I made it. <laughs> we need to chase after this guy in the car. 
Hopefully I can get back to my chopper in time and kill him. Sniper's still shooting me. Right, he's dead. Get me in my chopper. I'm gonna have to leave my guys there, he should. Oh, my chopper's getting smashed. They should just spawn in, there they are. Start flying, it's just turning. Come on! Oh no! We've had to evacuate there. We're going to have to evacuate, we're going to have to bail. Call that mission a failure. You can't win them all. At least we tried. Maybe for next time, I'll find this on the map. And then for next time we'll go in there and try and do that properly. Let me check the location. Um, which one was it? It was up to my left. So that one? It's around here, roughly, by this town. So we're going to do this in the next video. Here it is. So yeah, we're going to do this one in the next video, which should be up possibly in the uh, as this video gets released, possibly in the next day or two after that, maybe even the same day. I'm not too sure. So this may have been a short video, depending on uh, how long it takes to edit and cut up, and then you'll see the final product. But appreciate you guys taking your time to watch it once again. Don't forget to drop the video a like if you have enjoyed. Let me know what I can improve on down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.